I was thinking what I could share today are what would make good, valuable vlog content. And actually vlogging in itself is what I wanna share. I'm 40, 40 vlogs deep into this process and already I'm starting to feel some results from it. So I wanted to share them with you and urge you to do the same yourself. I got into a funny chat with one of my mates over the weekend. He was looking at me wondering what the hell I'm up to uh, with these videos. And I was trying to tell him that he should 100% vlog himself, with which he again kind of pushed me away and pushed the whole thing off and just thought it was all ridiculous. But actually this is a video and I'm gonna to stress to everybody, I really think you should vlog. So I've been doing this for the guts of about two months now. We're on 40 videos, Barry, yes? Yeah, 40 videos. Okay. And it is such an interesting process. I, like I, I started this because I thought, you know, oh, it'll be it'll be good to uh, put myself out there to hopefully, you know, inspire other people along the way. Um, but for much more selfish reasons, this is actually really interesting, really fulfilling. And um, the the fact is. Every day we get up, we dress ourselves, we look at ourselves in the mirror, we maybe kind of tweak how we look based on that. We seldom get the opportunity to have a conversation with somebody and then look at that back over camera. Now, I don't do that, I don't follow around with the vlog all day, um, but it's a really interesting process. For we, I do this for an hour every day where I will uh, think through something worth sharing over the, that I, over the course of the day or something that's come to mind and say it face to camera. And I watch it back and I go, oh my God, I didn't realize I was picking my nose in the middle of that. Or like, why am I scratching my chest while I'm talking? And then we'll repeat it back again and repeat it back again. And over the last few days, weeks, well, hell, into the second month, it has been such a positive, formative process. In previ previous videos, I talked about kind of the first thing I found was that I, what I thought I was communicating versus what I actually was communicating were two completely different things. And probably one of the most, uh, one of the kind of first steps or one of the first things that I found was that I was kind of bringing the two of them in sync. Um, but way over and above that, actually just working on my communication skills, it's been so, so valuable. And I think that's something that we probably don't do enough of. Um, so as I said, we're all conscious of how we look because God, there's so many pictures going around and maybe we're getting a little bit more conscious of how we act and how we communicate because there's so many people with cameras going around. But this is far more intimate, I think, where you're literally just head on with a camera. And I think because of that, you, uh, you learn a lot, lot more and you learn a lot, lot faster. So this is a video just sharing, I suppose, a bit of insight after having done this like for 40 days uh, of how valuable it is and how much I would stress like whatever about publishing it on a vlog, like you, you know, on a on a platform like YouTube or anything, actually just um, working on your communication, um, working on taking a subject out of thin air and presenting it. You know, I was I was talking actually to another friend, a guy called Chris Lauder, who is is extraordinarily successful and so interesting, um, but he was talking about. Um, how he went to a presentation coach. And this is exactly what they did. He just said, look, get up on stage, talk about this, we're gonna film you, and then we'll sit down, we'll look at the film, and we'll work from there. Now, you know, you don't have to go to a coach necessarily to do this. You can literally just take your iPhone out, start talking about something, record it, and watch it back and refine accordingly. And I think kind of that hits another um, kind of thing that I think a lot of the time when we're trying to learn, we look to others to teach us. But the fact of the matter is, with a phone, you can actually teach yourself so much. And this, for me, has been so, so, so formative. And so I just wanted to push it onto yourselves. I'm not gonna say you'll get this from it, or you'll get that from it, or you'll get loads. For me, I found that my strength in communicating has grown. And um, I feel that my clarity in communication has grown. I feel I've got a bit better sense of self, and I feel kind of as a result of that, my confidence has grown a bit. Um, that's for me. Who knows what might work for yourself or what you'll get from it, but I think it's a really, really interesting process. As I said, we all value mirrors. We all value getting up and looking at ourselves and tweaking our appearance accordingly. And we seldom get the opportunity to look at how we communicate and refine, for refine from that. I would stress, do it for a couple of days and see what you find from it.